Hi, Brookings. I'm here again with Bonnie Specker, an epidemiologist from South Dakota State University, who is going to give us an update for the week's COVID-19 across the nation, the world, um, our area, and Brookings County. And also, she is going to talk to us a little bit about um, a lesson for Epi 101. So, Bonnie, what do you have for our Epi 101 lesson today? Well, I thought I'd talk about how cause of death is, de is determined and coded. Um, there have been a lot of rumors out there that people seem to think that the cause of death, you know, being listed as COVID is overreported and I, that everything's being counted as COVID. I've definitely heard that um, as I've, you know, been on social media or talking to people across the community. People have actually asked me or even told me that that's what's happening. Yeah, so I thought it'd be good to just educate people a little bit on how death certificates are actually um, coded and registered. And they are categorized, all deaths worldwide, this is across the, all countries, are categorized using the International Classification of Diseases, we call them ICD. Um, they were developed by the World Health Organization and some other international health centers in the 1900s. And the ICD includes three volumes. And one, the first volume has to do with all the different codes and definitions for those codes. The second volume is strictly on coding rules and the history of ICD codes. And the third one is an alphabetical index. So in South Dakota, and this does vary state by state, um, the person who determines the cause of death in most states, including South Dakota, the first person that will do that is the attending licensed physician, a physician assistant, or a certified nurse practitioner. They all can determine a cause of death. If there's no attending health professional, then the county coroner will do it. Um, the county coroner is actually a, an elected position, so it could be someone who doesn't have a medical background, but they do have to attend training on how to do the coding of the death certificates. If there's no coroner, then the local registrar will prepare the certificate based on statements of relatives or other individuals who know the facts surrounding the death. This is what a death certificate looks like. Um, up at the top, we have part, what's called part one. And here, this is sequential. So you have what was the immediate cause of death on the very top line, and then what caused that situation. And then you keep going down. And I, I have some examples that will help it explain this a little bit better but the bottom one the one that's the lowest on this list is going to be the um, underlying cause of death and that's the one that is considered the cause of death when you're looking at at cause of mortality part two of the death certificate contains other information that might have contributed to the death but wasn't involved in that sequential event leading up to the death. And again, I'll show this example. Here's an example of it. Um, cirrhosis of the liver is associated with nephritis or kidney disease, okay? And that's because of the actual disease process of cirrhosis can lead to nephritis and nephritis, because of what happens with that disease, can cause cerebral hemorrhage or a stroke. That's an another name for stroke. So it was the stroke that killed someone, but that stroke was caused by the nephritis, which was caused by the cirrhosis. So in this case, cirrhosis of the liver, since it's the one that sort of started this whole cascade event, will be considered the underlying cause of death. And that's what is reported as the cause of death. If you see um, 
data out there reporting causes of death. It's that underlying cause of death that, that you're looking at. If the CDC did come out with some guidance on how to certify deaths due to COVID, and in that part one, that upper part of the death certificate, if COVID played a role, it can be listed as an underlying cause of death because it can lead to these other things that will actually cause the death, such as acute respiratory syndrome or um, respiratory distress. And there are very specific clinical criteria for determining whether or not COVID played a role in the cause of death. And the biggest one is that they had to have a positive COVID test okay that then led to these other diseases that or conditions that that resulted in the death if you don't have a definitive diagnosis of covid but you think that it is suspected or likely you can actually report the cause of death as probable and examples of those are with covid you have a very specific chest x-ray that is very unique to, to COVID. Um, if someone has that chest x-ray but didn't have a test, that will get coded as a probable COVID death. Maybe they were exposed to someone with COVID and they had all the clinical symptoms of COVID. That could also be listed as a probable COVID death where you didn't have an actual test result. This happened a lot in China towards the end when they were running out of testing supplies. They couldn't if, test people who were dying to determine whether they actually had the virus, but they saw, they looked at their x-rays and everything was consistent with COVID. Their clinical course was consistent with it. So they listed those as probable COVID deaths. In the part two section, other significant conditions contributing to death, these, this is where you would put pre-existing chronic conditions that may affect the survival if you get COVID. For instance, people have talked about how if you have asthma or pre-existing heart disease or chronic obstructive pulmonary disease, also known as COPD, that those things may all affect your survival if you were to come down with COVID. So those things can be listed on that part too. They probably didn't directly relate to the death, but they may have contributed some, in some way. And here are just a couple scenarios that help illustrate this. Um, and these come from that CDC website that's cited on the previous slides. This scenario, we have a 77-year-old man with a history of high blood pressure or hypertension. And he also has that COPD, chronic obstructive pulmonary disease, and is admitted to the hospital after having a fever for four days, a cough and shortness of breath, classic COVID symptoms. He reported a recent exposure to a neighbor with flu-like symptoms, so he could that person could have had COVID. And the chest x-rays and blood results were consistent with severe respiratory acidosis. So he was having a very hard time getting oxygen into his blood through his lungs, okay? And they did a test, and sure enough, he had COVID. It was positive for COVID and he ends up dying. His immediate cause of death would be that acute respiratory acidosis, but the underlying cause of death would have been COVID. The COVID is what led to the respiratory acidosis. So the cause of death would be COVID, although that's not, you know, he died of the respiratory acidosis caused by the COVID. Now, he has these other conditions that may have contributed to it because he wasn't as healthy as someone who wouldn't, didn't have these conditions. He, he had the hypertension, and he also had the COPD. So those would be listed under part two. They weren't directly 
in the cascade of events that led to his death, but they were contributing factors. This scenario too is a 34 year old female with no past medical history. She went to her doctor complaining of six days of fever, cough, and body aches. They admitted her to the hospital and she had a CT scan of the chest and that showed a, a viral pneumonia and they took some respiratory specimens and it confirmed that she had COVID. So her condition deteriorated and she developed acute respiratory distress syndrome and died. So the immediate cause of death here would have been acute respiratory distress syndrome that was caused by the pneumonia, the viral pneumonia, which was caused by COVID. So again, the cascade, the COVID caused the pneumonia, the viral pneumonia, which then led to the acute respiratory distress. So the cause of death there would be COVID. She didn't have any other pre-existing things that like complicated or could have contributed to the death. So that part two would be blank on her death certificate. This one is, a, is an example of where you have a probable COVID death. We have an 86 year old female who died at home and the husband stated that she has been non-ambulatory, so she's been confined to bed after suffering a stroke three years earlier. And five days before her death, she developed a high fever and severe cough after being exposed to a family member that was later diagnosed with COVID. So though that right there, her symptoms are consistent with COVID and she had been exposed to COVID. She refused to go to the hospital even when her breathing became more labored and her temperature went up, so she has that fever. So <clears throat> she ended up being unresponsive the following morning and the coroner was called. So the coroner determined that her immediate cause of death was acute respiratory illness, not he doesn't know what or she doesn't know what type of illness, but it was a respiratory illness that was brought on by probable COVID. And the reason he said probable COVID, she didn't have a test confirming that in fact it was COVID but she had all of the clinical symptoms consistent with COVID and she had been exposed to COVID, okay? The significant conditions that may have contributed to her death was the ischemic stroke. So she could have developed this respiratory illness in part because she was confined to the bed. So not, not an underlying cause, it's not in the cascade of events, but it, it's a possibility that it, it contributed somehow. So that is our Epi 101 for this week. And if you have any ideas or rumors out there that you've been hearing, let Chelsea know and we can try to address them in another mini lesson. Thank you, Bonnie. Uh, I really appreciate uh, the clarity that you bring to some of these things that we've been hearing around the community. Yeah, I think it's important for people to understand uh, what the situation is. As 